Hello everyone, this is Stefan coming to you once again from Inside the Dog House. I just received a CGC submission uh, returned and it, I, the books were awesome. And normally I don't do uh, unboxing videos anymore. Uh, they, they tend, unless it's a crack and resub, they tend to get kind of samey, you see the same books again and again. And the reason for that is as the prices fell in the, in the comic market kind of more largely collapsed, not completely, but um, there's massive price drops everywhere. Uh, it became um, less lucrative or however you want to put it. It, it. it made less sense to submit books outside of the standard keys that you see all the time. So, so Spider-Man 238 for Hobgoblin, 252, The Black Suit 300 for Spinal. You see the same books again and again and again. And this submission, uh, that I got back. It's kind of an exception, so I decided to make a video. And and yes, I mean, I did have like uh, a new stand, She-Hulk, seven She-Hulk that got to 9.8, and of course, you know, the uh, first Gambit, X-Men 266 at a 9.8, and a three, Spider-Man 316 at a 9.8. So there was, there was some of that. But there are a lot of books in the submission that I I don't see like every day and that I don't do submissions on. So I thought they would be cool um, to, to do a, an unboxing video. And the first one was from a friend. I'll, I'll do friends books first. He submitted a Warhammer monthly zero. And this book has shocking amount of value to it. Uh, there's only, I think six, possibly seven of these in the census. So at nine, eight, so it's a really, really hard book to get and the numbers on, on eBay or on the GPA census reflect that. Uh, they typically go for about 800 US so it's a, you know it's a great book to have. He also same person submitted um, this Warrior Ash can which is the, just a tiny book that also hit 9.8. Again I think there's only six or seven of these in the census and uh, and a third that he submitted, he, actually, he submitted more, but the, uh, the other ones were kind of samey. Uh, but he submitted a Dune one, which is a Canadian price variant. And I believe there's less than 10 of those in the census as well at 9.8. But he was pretty happy with his results. Uh, he, he ended up getting all nine eights on his books. A different friend who took part in the submission, he had some moderns, which I'm not going to show, but he... Uh, and the Super Mario Brothers, and this was a crack in resub. It was originally, I think, um, a 9.2, and it has like creases that you can't get out to the manufacturing creases, and there's greater notes about it. So 9.4 was as high as you could go. So, so that was pretty good. For my books, um, this one, and I've talked, I talked about this when I bought a collection and went to Montreal to get it. Uh, this was the variant edition of X-Men 25. I've had hundreds of copies of X-Men 25. They go straight in the dollar bin. This is the first variant edition uh, that I've ever seen. And um, and so I, I fixed it up and there, there, it was it was pretty creased, but I was able to do so like a lot of ball bearing work and, and really fix it up. And it ended up getting to 9.6, which is the max I could have hoped for. There was no way that I it was a 9.8 candidate, but, um, you know, a cool book to have nonetheless with a shocking amount of value to it. I still can't believe how much people pay for, for the variant edition, uh, I guess, because the other one is so common and this one is so hard to get. Um, and also from the, that Montreal collection, uh, there's Next Men 21, which is... Um, um, <laughs> I'm brain farting with this name. Uh, Hellboy. Sorry about that. I, I do know that it's Hellboy, but it's, it's early in the morning for me when I'm shooting this video. So, uh, yeah, this is the first in color appearance of Hellboy. Hellboy has several different first appearance, appearances in different things. And this is um, one of the first appearance keys that he has. And the other books that I had um, come from the Bronze Age Horror Collection that I bought. And what I did 
is I divide, I separated out the books that I thought would get a nine or more. That was my cutoff for submitting to CGC. And, um, and I ended up, uh, you know, doing very well with them. The ones that were pre-1975 are in a different submission, um, but these ones are post-1975 uh, and after, and I figured they would get a nine or higher. So we have Werewolf by Night 31, which is a cool one. There was another Werewolf by Night. There it is. 32 was in a different video. That was a, a high um, a high end submission. But 33, this one surprised me. I thought it would be in the, you know, I, I knew it would be a nine or more. Otherwise, I wouldn't have submitted it. But I figured it would be more like a nine, two, nine, four. Uh, but I ended up getting a nine, six. And the reason why I thought it would score lower is there's color drop. Right at, the, right at the top and that's really the only flaw and I wasn't sure I've had other books with color drop where they maxed out at 9.4 so I figured that would be the case for this one it got a 9.6 so the 9.6 copies go for about a thousand bucks I'm keeping it so it doesn't really matter what the value is but that's um that was uh a, you know a pleasant surprise like I said Tomb of Dracula books uh, and this was my favorite in the entire submission I ended up with a 9.8 on this one, Tomb of Dracula 32. I was hoping to get a 9.8 somewhere in there um, with the higher grade books, but you know, sometimes with tiny flaws, you never know how CGC is going to deal with them. Some are 9.6s, some are 9.8s, and that's just the way it is. Tomb of Dracula 33, um, 9.4. Very happy with that result. <clears throat> and Tomb of Dracula 35. 9.6 so happy with that result and the last one that i'm going to show you again there's much more in this submission but um this tomb of dracula 36 which is a 9.0 and this one was interesting to me because this this meant that i set my cutoff properly like I, I was picking out books that i thought would grade nine or higher all of them graded nine or higher one of them was at like right at nine so i think I, I i basically drew the line well there there were a couple that i figured were eight fives um some they may have gotten to nine but then if cgc gives it an eight it's like eh, you know <laughs> why would i grade that um for the older books fine but the post 1975 probably not uh so very quick video uh of this of this unboxing it was phenomenal, got fantastic results all the way through. Uh, there were a couple that were cracking resub for friends and stuff. And when those sailed, uh, they all like those ones just went up in grade. Um, so everything went really well. I have another submission that's at CGC. It's vintage. It's going to take probably a month before it gets back. They're, they're much slower on that tier. And I have a uh, another modern that's on the way to CGC right now, which is a crack and resub. And that one is, um, it's more likely to be done before the vintage, even though it's on its way and the vintage was already sitting at CGC for a couple weeks. So that is it for this video. Uh, I, I'm actually looking at buying a collection next week. Someone contacted me. So if that goes ahead and fingers crossed and I do buy it, then that'll be my next video. Uh, until then, happy collecting.